Alrighty then, another day. Um, just gone eight o'clock in the morning, a little bit later than normal, but uh, I haven't got a massive day planned today. Um, I didn't sleep too well again last night, only a few hours. I uh, don't really know what's going on. I think I'm overly tired and the mind is racing a bit, but oh well. It is a beautiful day to be on the bike. It's hot already. Uh, plan today, try to get down to Tam Quan. It's only around 40 kilometers away, where I'm hoping to meet uh, up with another uh, cyclist, uh, Julian, who I first met in Nepal. Uh, hopefully we can get to the town together around the same time. It'd be good to have a coffee and a catch up. That's it of the coastal roads, uh, come in land a little bit. Uh, ahead of me, it's not the number one, uh, it's a slightly quieter main road. Uh, I'm gonna do a left here and hopefully I'm gonna be on this for a little while, but it does eventually lead me on to the number one. Uh, so fingers crossed, it's not that busy. Right, well I've just managed to find a small cafe where I could check my emails. Uh, I just wanted to see if uh, Julian had managed to get a hold of me, and he had, and it looks like unfortunately we have missed each other. But oh well, another time. I've uh, just now, this is Highway 1, so yeah, just turned on to here. Uh, hopefully, like I said earlier, fingers crossed it's not going to be too busy. But with any luck, I shouldn't be on it that long. Well, that's Highway 1 done for the day. Um, I've just turned off. I'm now heading towards the coast. I was only on the highway for about an hour, hour and a half I think. Wasn't too bad today but still quite noisy and busy. I much prefer these smaller roads. But yeah right now I am heading towards the coast. It's about 10k and in this direction I hope and then I'm going to just carry on south and see if I can find somewhere to put the tent. Well, it's about 9k to where I want to camp uh, tonight, but between me and there, there are two hill climbs, uh, each of about 250 meters. This is the start of the first one. Um, it's about half past three, 
it's hot but it's a bit cooler in these trees but it's uh, time to get these over and done with okay well that's the hills over with uh, I've just turned off the road down this little lane uh, according to my map it should in about five six hundred meters lead me to the coast and hopefully to a beach uh, fingers crossed I can get onto it uh, it's getting a little late now about half past four so it's definitely time to try and find somewhere to sleep right so this is where that trek has taken me uh, kind of away from the village and to these uh, I guess they're fish farms right next to the sea here uh, they weren't on my map <laughs> as usual stuff is always surprising me but it looks like over in that far corner there's not a lot of anything so uh, hopefully in that beach I can put the tent up let's go find out Right, well I managed to find the beach, um, the only problem is there's a wall here to stop getting down um, and there's a drop of about 20 foot on the other side. So I'm not going to get on to the actual beach I don't think, uh, which isn't too much of a problem because it looks like the tide comes pretty much up to the wall anyway so I wouldn't be able to camp. But I reckon I'm going to head back into these trees and uh, find somewhere up there for tonight. Well, that wasn't all that uh, successful, to be honest with you. There were plenty of places to camp, but sometimes it just doesn't feel right, you know? Um, my gut feeling is I just, yeah, I didn't, didn't want to stay there. So I'm heading back. I'm going to try and find another beach not too far along, so fingers crossed. Well, what a bit of luck. Sometimes it pays to uh, follow your gut feeling. I came along the beach, um, maybe five minutes from that last place I looked at and bumped into uh, this guy, Ross. English guy, he's on his bike too. Uh, he's already kind of pitched up underneath this uh, kind of little shelter right on the beach. Uh, plenty of kids around, asking questions, trying to learn a little bit of English. But yeah, I mean, it really does pay sometimes to uh, listen to your gut feeling. You know, had I stayed where I was, then, hey, I wouldn't have found Ross and I wouldn't have company tonight. So, looks like it was a good idea and I'm in for a good night.